everybody, Salty Sweet Ren here, and I am here with a new game for the channel called Cattails. Cattails was developed by um, Falcon Develops, or uh, I'll have to look up what the name is. It, um, they made a Warriors game in the past, though, called Warriors Untold Tales. It's a ton of fun, and I, as you probably know from my ongoing Warriors challenge on The Sims, I am a huge fan of Warriors. I am a huge lover of cats. And it's been a long time since I've last picked up Cattails. Um, but I want to get back into it. It's probably going to... Cattails should be coming up on Mondays, if I'm doing this correctly. I'm going to be doing Mondays, I'm going to be playing Cattails. Wednesdays will be my Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke, or Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke. And Fridays will be my Sims Warrior, so I'll have a week to get episodes ready which should help with my uh, scheduling a little bit better. So, anyway, without further ado, let's jump into Cattails! So, let's go ahead and hit New Game. Please select the difficulty level. Notes, you can change this later at any time from the settings menu. Uh, let's go Normal Difficulty. I It's been such a long time, we don't remember having difficulty levels. Oh, hey. Create your kitty. Okay, what should be, what would be a good name? You know, I'm gonna call you Ren, but Ren like the bird. W-R-E-N. My cat's name is Ren. Uh, let's go with brown, orange, yellow. Uh, I kind of like the yellow look. Uh, do I want to do purple eyes, pink eyes, blue? What does it look like with brown? I like this. This looks like a fun cat. Alright, Ren the kitty. Let's go. And... Oh, we have a little scene. Okay. Looks like a pet store, I'm guessing. Oh, hello! Is that us? Are we being picked by a human? I think that- I think I remember this, but it used to look super different. It was more pixely. Oh, yes, I do remember this. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is sad. I remember. Oh, that's us. We're a little kitten. With their human. And... We had a nice home. We had a beautiful, beautiful house. We were well taken care of, and the little girl loved us so much. Yeah, but the mom did not, and... This hurts. This hurts so much to watch, because I remember this now. Yeah, then she took us, and the little girl is sad. And then they just dumped us on the side of the road. It's... I really don't love... I hate that- I hate that mom in this. I really, really hate her right now. Oh man, that's painful. But it happens sometimes. <coughs> Never do that to your cats, people. Hey, what are you doing out here? Hello? Oh, hello. You don't look like you're from around here. I'm Coco, by the way. Why don't you come over here and tell me your name? You can move your cat with WASD on the keyboard. Try it out and go talk to Coco. Alright. Press E to talk. Hmm. You say your name is Ren? That's a good name for you, if you don't mind me saying. You say you were left here all by yourself? Dropped off on the side of the road? How terrible! Well, if that's your story, you've got a lot of learning ahead of you. You have to fend for yourself out here in the wild. If you don't know how to forage, hunt, and fight, you can't expect to live more than a few days. You better listen closely to everything I say. I can show you how to survive around these parts. First things first, you'll need to learn how to forage. There should be some golden seal around here. It's a green leafy plant with a bright red berry. We use it to patch up wounds. Why don't you find some golden seal and bring it to me? Shouldn't be too hard to locate. Let me know if you need some help. Go and gather. Alright. So let's go and find the golden seal. 
So yeah, in this game, it is very much, um, you, you're going to be playing as Wildcat and Cattails, but, um, except that they're not plants, there's colonies, and the cats also have a really in-depth system. Alright, they found some golden seal, and they got two experience for it. Alright, bring it back to Coco. Looks like you found some golden seal. Why don't you try giving it to me? You'll have to dig it up from your inventory and hold it in your mouth first. So, inventory, golden seal, hold. Great work! You'll be foraging like a pro soon! You go ahead and keep that golden seal, by the way. Never know when it may come in handy. I'll leave it in your inventory. There's lots of plants that grow around the wild. Golden seal, lavender, catnip, and marigold, to name a few. They all have their own unique uses, so make sure to gather some up and try them out if you see them. If I can remember correctly, lavender is very useful in getting territory. Uh, and I think I remember catnip just makes everything look weird. But it's fun. <laughs> just remember that all plants need time to grow back after they've been harvested, and some plants will only grow in certain seasons. You're also going to need how to know how to find food for yourself. You'll need to eat regularly to stay healthy and alive. You can eat some plants, like berries and licorice root, but they don't fill you up very fast. You'll mainly want to eat prey that you can catch with your own four paws. That's the good stuff. I don't suppose you know how to hunt, do you? I'll show you the way. Why don't you sneak around and find a mouse? They make for tasty snacks. First, sneak around so they won't hear you coming. Then, find a mouse and get close so you can focus on it. You'll want to get as close as possible without scaring him off. The closer you get, the better chance you have of catching the mouse. Don't worry, mice aren't very good at spotting us cats, so you can get pretty close. Then, pounce on the mouse once you're focused and ready. If you did it just right, you'll have a nice meal waiting for you in the grass. Don't worry if you miss on your first few tries. Hunting is tricky, and you won't always catch your prey. Just keep moving and try again. You got all that? If you need to hear it again, just talk to me and I'll repeat myself for you. Good luck and happy hunting! Alright, let's go and find a mouse. Let's see. Oh, oh, there's a couple. Oh, so close. It was perfect form, Ren. But the mouse still got away. Sometimes they can be tricky. Keep trying. I'm sure you'll catch the next one. Yeah, I think I was too far. So let's find another mouse. Oh, there's one. All right. Nicely done. You're a natural hunter, Ren. But you'll need a whole lot more than just one measly mouse to keep yourself well fed and in top shape. Don't let it get to your head. You can find all sorts of prey to hunt all throughout the wilderness. Most will see you coming from a lot further away than the mouse will, so you'll have to stay alert and keep learning. You can always get better at hunting by spending experience on your passive hunting skill in your skills panel. I'm gonna get a drink. Sorry. All this hard work is probably making you hungry. Why don't you try eating that mouse you just caught? And you'll need to eat in order to survive in cattails. You can see how hungry your cat is in the bottom left corner of the screen. If your hunger is reduced to 0%, you'll start taking damage from starvation. It looks like you're a little hungry right now. Go ahead and eat the mouse you just caught by opening your inventory, selecting the mouse, and then selecting eat from the list of options. So let's go ahead and eat the mouse. There we go. Oh, I can change my coat. <gasps> oh! Oh, Black Tabby, Bengal, and the Kickstarter, because I was a Kickstarter supporter. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a Black Tabby, I like that look. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the Black Tabby, I like it. And there's all the different eye colors. Does Lavender look good? I'm gonna stick with Turquoise, I like the Turquoise. Make sure you keep an eye on how hungry you are, Ren. It could be the difference between life and death. Now then, do you have any special skills? 
any sort of training that cats of your upbringing go through? No? None at all? Well, that's not surprising. I'm about to teach you a Coco specialty skill called Sprint. You can use it to gain a quick burst of speed. You can use Sprint to cover ground quickly, to run away from a fight that's too big for you, or to catch up with prey that's escaping. I've learned the Sprint skill. It's been added to my active skill bar in the bottom left corner of the screen. You can, you can use it by either clicking Sprint icon in the active skill bar or by pressing 1 on your keyboard. Try it out now! Okay. There we go. Yes, that's just how it's done! You can use Sprint every now and then, but after you use it, you'll have to wait a few seconds before using it again. Every active skill you learn will work in a similar way. Normally, you'll have to gain experience to learn new skills, and you can only equip a new skill while inside your den. You'll gain experience by hunting, fighting, foraging, and even by sleeping. There's lots of skills available, such as combat skills, travel skills, support skills, and more. You can have any four active skills at a time, so you'll want to experiment with different combos to see what works best for you. You can also use experience to upgrade your passive skills, which are hunting, fighting, foraging, and swimming. You can manage your skills in the skills map panel, and this is just going into a whole thing about skills. Uh, passive skills can be upgraded from anywhere at any time, active skills can only be equipped or unequipped at your den. You can also spend experience to upgrade active skills that you really like. Usually, that means they'll become more powerful, and you'll be able to use them more frequently. You should also know something about the wilderness. The cats that live here don't like intruders very much. Oh, well, that's good news for us, isn't it? Any cat found for trespassing on another cat's territory can be attacked on sight. It's our way of life. That's why you need to know how to fight. Most cats join a colony that provides guards and a base of operations for protection. Often, those colonies clash. Border skirmishes or even all-out wars are not uncommon. I need to know what I'm working with here. How's about the two of us spar real quick? Fair warning, I won't go easy on you just because you're new. Come over here and let me know when you're ready. Oh boy, we're gonna learn how to fight. Hey, hey, is that a bug? <gasps> oh, oh, I caught a bug. I got a yellow firefly. Oh, yay, I got a bug. I got a bug. Okay. Talk to Coco. I want to learn how to spar. Um, yeah, let's spar. All right, a few pointers before we begin. Cats fight by pawing at each other with their claws. It takes some time to complete an attack, and during that time, you won't be able to react to my attacks, so time your attacks just right. You'll want to make use of your agility to escape my attacks. Anticipate my swipes and get out of the way before they hit. Remember, I'll be vulnerable while attacking because I won't be able to turn around or move. Same goes for you. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Attack! Okay, let's see. Come on, come on. There we go. You put up a good fight, Ren. You've got a lot to learn, but you're not bad for a beginner. You can always become better at fighting by spending experience on your passive fighting skill in your skills panel. So much about the skills panel, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Fighting can be an excellent way to, fe to flex your political muscle, too. Every day, a few battles will begin along the borders of the colonies. If you participate, you could help a colony gain influence over an area. Speaking of the colonies, surely you want to join one? It's a great way to get started in the wild. I know all of the three major colonies here have a spare den to give you, if you'd like it. We're actually not far from the forest colony right now. I can lead you there and help you get settled in. I'm sure their leader, Mayor, wouldn't mind having a new base around town. There are good cats in the forest colony, and you'll fit right in. How does that sound? I remember the forest colony? It's one of the basic colonies? I'm gonna take a look at what the op other options are. Like I said, there's three major colonies that live out here. I'll tell you about all of them, If then you can make your choice. There's the forest colony, which I mentioned earlier. They're good, friendly cats that live in the bramble patch deep in the oak woods, just to the north. They're definitely the closest colony to here. I'm sure their leader, Mayor, would be happy to take you in. There's also the Mountain Domain, a proud collection of cats dwelling near the, a waterfall in the rocky basin. They're way up north. They're led by a fighter named Leo. This That cat is always looking for more paws to bolster the number of border skirmishes border skirmishers in the domain. And 
And lastly, there's the Mystic Colony. Strange cats live in hollow logs deep within an old wetland. You may find their leader a bit hard to connect with at first, but Elisa's is a good cat at heart. They all are, even the wacky ones. I think I like the Mystic Colony most. So that's what I'm going with. Take me to the Mystic Colony. Great, I'll lead you to the Mystic Colony then. Follow me, Ren. I don't think it makes too much of a difference between you join other than which cats there are. So this is my new den. Here we are. This is your new den, Ren. You want to visit your den often. Here you can sleep and save your progress. You can also use this space to store your items if you'd like. Remember to save your progress frequently as you play by using your bed. It's a good idea to save before sleeping each night. This is where we'll have to part ways, Ren. I hope you remember your training well. It was good to meet you. You had a busy day. Why don't you get some sleep? I'll return to check up on you soon. Until then... Uh... Um... What? Uh... Coco? Coco? Um... Okay, well that just happened. Let's go to sleep, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna save the game. Game is saved, and... Go to sleep. And... Got five experience points, and we're up! Alright, um... I'm guessing this is the skills panel. Yeah. We have 22 experience points. We have, we have 10 experience points. We could upgrade any of these. Active skills. We can take a look at those one day. Let's go take a look outside the camp. Or outside the den. Oh, hello. Good morning. I heard from Coco that you had arrived. My name is Alyssa. I'm the leader of the Mystic Colony. Welcome, Ren. I hope you found your den to be comfortable enough. It takes some time getting used to living in a tree trunk. Most cats around here are friendly enough. They want to say hello to all of them after you get settled in. Our town shop is run by Savannah. If you get hurt, you want to talk to Crampy, our doctor. I live in the center of town, just south of the lake. If you see me out and about, feel free to say hello. Oh, we're also preparing for the summer festival. We hope you'll be able to join us. Cats of every colony can come together to the sacred temple at the end of the, each season for the festivals. There's usually fun games and prizes you can win. The summer festival takes place on the 10th of summer. I've got to get going now. Welcome to the Mystic Colony. And off she goes. And there's a cat named Slip over here. Hi, can I talk to you? Greetings, kitten. Where are you off to? You're a strange looking one. Where are you from? I don't think I've ever met you before. My name is Slip. Be seeing you around. Alright. So... I met Slip. I can hear little splashes as I'm walking. Oh, there's... Hello, you're crampy, huh? Greetings, young kitten. Do you mind if I put leeches on your tail? It's for science, and I think it would be funny. Or I could do it to myself. But then what will I do tomorrow? Maybe I should scare kittens by jumping out of bushes again. Yes, that sounds good. Oh, you're still here? What do you require? Actually, I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Crampy, the doctor. And don't worry, I am not a bird. Although, when I had that concussion, I did think I was. <laughs> I love Crampy. Crampy's great. What was I saying again? Oh, right. My mask is protecting me from foul odors and miasma. Just remember, I am not a bird. If you need healing, come to me for my remedies. I can work on any wound and any pa and patch any problem. Alright, good to meet you. Um, uh, Savannah. Hey there, how are things going? Oh, hello there. I don't think we've seen each other before. My name is Savannah, and I like to collect different rare and unique items at my shop. Feel free to poke around whenever you'd like. So, we've met her. Oh! Oh! Hi! Oh my gosh, gosh, this is Mossy, right? I think Mossy is a cat that was created by Siri the Pixel Biologist. So, 
Mm -hmm. Oh, hello! The clouds are interesting shapes today, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Something smells different. Um, oh, hello! Oh, um, I'm Mossy. It's nice to meet you! Okay. And Alyssa, I think she just walked out of her den. Hello, Ren. How are you? I hope you have found your den satisfactory. If not, I'm afraid it is the only one we have available. It's fine. I do like it. Oh, hello! Who are you? Oh my goodness! I love- I love this cat. Look at him! Look at them! Oh, hi! You startled me! How are you today? Hey, thanks for coming! I was not sure if you would show up. Can you hold this for a moment, please? Thanks! Um, what? Um, now that I look at you again, who are you? I don't think we've met before. May I ask your name? Bren, you say? What a fascinating name. My name is Nil. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Does Nil have little horns? It's like a little tiefling cat. I love him. And, uh, sorry for making you hold that thing. I like Nil. Nil is my favorite already. All the cats here are great. Uh, is this a board up here? What's the board for? This wooden board has many tasks po posted to it. What would I like to do? What is... What is today's task? The borders need reinforcing. Win one daily battle for the glory of the colony. Reward frog and two task tokens. Deadline midnight. Um. I'm gonna leave the task board for now. But right now I'm just taking a look around, getting used to how the, everything works. Let's see, I have a firefly in my inventory. Oh, we have a map here. This tells, like, what, um, what's going on with the colony and everything. Looks like there is a border skirmish right up there, which is very close to our territory. Very close to where we are. It's in the middle of our territory. A battle rage is here. So this is a locked area. Power can't change here. So this is always going to be our territory, no matter what. But, um, you know what? I think, just for the sake of this, I do want to, why not? Let's give it a try. We'll make a good impression. We'll make a good first impression on the colony and accept this task. You've accepted the task. You can view your progress at any time by looking at the world map. Complete the task, then return to the task board by midnight to collect your reward. Let's go. I may also do a little bit of hunting while I'm out here. Oh, look, there's some golden seal. This is good for healing injuries, right? If I recall correctly. Oh, there's a frog. Alright, I got a frog. And this is where... Oh, crap. These guys are good fighters, aren't they? Crap, did they, like, take down most of the colony? Oh boy. Can I use Golden Seal just... I am not a good fighter yet. Oh dear. I think I... This was a mistake, wasn't it? Um, is there golden seal around here? There's a flower of some sort. Marigold. What does marigold do? Uh, treats wounds over time. I'm gonna use it. I think I did not make a good decision. If I run... If I run, what will that do? Um, I don't want to run run, but... 
Oh hey, I caught I got one of the cats. Okay, that cat is really getting me. Oh crap. Oh no. Well I'm off to a good start. There's still hope. I'll be revived by the doctor. What will Ren do? Be revived by the doctor. I link in once more, and I'm gonna be back in my den, aren't I? Or... Ah, Ren! Your consciousness returns to the physical plane! It seems you may have dropped a thing or two when you fell. But never fear, Dr. Crampy has revived your life essence. Stay safe as you go, Ren. Oh boy. Is this... Uh, summer three. Wait, did I miss a day? Oh, crap, I did miss a day, didn't I? But that piece of territory is still safe. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go return to my den and save. Oracle, hello. I saw you're coming from afar. What is it that you seek? You travel here from distant lands. Yes, Oracle can see that you are a sojourner. Knowledge of the past, wisdom for the present, visions of the future. All these come to Oracle. Perhaps I may share these portents with you. Or perhaps not. I kind of want to envision him doing like a Matt Mercer voice. I, I can't do a good Matt Mercer impression. But for now I'm just gonna go to my den and save. Do I still have? No, I, I was gonna see if I could use the Firefly. No, I'm gonna save my game. Let me do that. And I'm probably gonna leave this episode off here. If you enjoyed, please um, be sh like be sure to subscribe for more. Um, leave a comment if you have any like, if you enjoyed. Um, I will see you guys in the next video, and um, I hope to see you then. Stay safe out there, friends.